On today's lifestyle blog, Fifi and his friend Eugene teamed up to organize the Summer Fufu Party. Today happens to be the Summer Fufu Party celebration and I do have my good friend Eugene who is going to help us with the food. Chef Eugene started with the preparation of the soup. And the fufu was made the authentic way, no fufu powder. This beautiful setup made by Fifi the weather was kind of tricky that day, but he sailed through with it. Now was the party moment. Some fufu and good drinks for guests to enjoy. Are you enjoying the fufu? Smile while you're eating. <laughs> and some great music that got guests dancing after eating the fufu. YouTube channel where we talk everything lifestyle today happens to be the summer fufu party celebration and I do have my good friend Eugene who is going to help us with the full Eugene hello 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 you're welcome yeah thank you so much and thank you very much for the nice shirt you're welcome you're welcome <laughs> you, you're welcome you, it's good that you you said I mean let's go traditional today and I was like well I don't have one and you got me this nice shirt I really appreciate it Today, Eugene is a chef with Top Point Catering Services here in UK and um, Eugene, I must say thank you very much because you've been a good friend to me anytime I'm doing an event, whether I'm doing a party, you always come to my support and the wonderful thing is that when you have good friends that really support you in everything, that makes life much easier for me and I must say thank you very much for all the support that you've been supporting me throughout the years since I came to London. I mean, you've been supporting me in every event that I do and I want to say So are you also. <laughs> Remember <laughs> that. Uh, so uh, yeah. you are. Uh, yeah. Thank you yes. very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. you're welcome. So we support each, each other. other. Yeah, that's life. Yes, and that's one thing that I'm so, so, so curious is that you are an hour, right? Yes, and I am an hour. The fact that you like to cook fufu, right? And fufu is for the chances. Look, I must congratulate you that even though you're an airwalk, you have tried to embrace other cultures' food like the uh, Ashanti's, which is very, very. I always go like, we shouldn't be tribalistic and be like, okay, this food belongs to this ethnic group, so I'm not going to eat it. This culture belongs to eat this. Egg. We must always try to appreciate other people's culture and experiences. That's just life. And you are a good fan of fufu. You always display your fufu on Facebook. I do. <laughs> I really do that. <laughs> anyway, the reason why I do that yeah. is that I'm coming from the Vota region, Peki precisely. Okay. And Peki, it's more or less people, it's the main reason or the understanding of Peki is Pechi. Pechi, okay. So um, when uh, we migrated, mm. um, what we had, uh, the name that was given to us was, was that we remained at the back. Okay. That is why we are Pechi, okay. not Peki. Peki, yeah, but everything that we do, we I can say that we are an Ashanti. It's, it's more of a can. More of like a can. Oh, okay, okay, yes, okay. So okay. that is how it is. So what is the menu for our guests today? I know, what are you, are you going to offer our guests today? Uh, what we are going to prepare mm. is going to be fufu. Mm. So the main thing is fufu party. Yeah, fufu the party. The first fufu party. And uh, the surprise is it's not the what you because we are in United Kingdom, they may think we are going to do the powdered fufu. So we, we must make sure that it's going to be the real pounded fufu. Absolutely, yes. it's going to be fufu <laughs> that we are going to pound. Yeah. And okay, to the whole story, how did you get this mortar and pistol here in? London. You <laughs> don't want to know. I want to know. And my viewers also would like you to know. You <laughs> don't want to know. I have been yearning yeah. to get this mortar and pistol for a very long time. Okay. I did ask my a good friend of mine mm -hmm. 
um, to take me to Birmingham. Oh, okay. Where I have seen online. somebody. Yes, <laughs> I have seen somebody sell that online. Okay. And I said, can you please drive me to uh, Birmingham? Mm -hmm. But he couldn't take me there. Okay. And fortunately for me, I went to Croydon. And when I was there going to buy some of my things, I happened to bump into this. Okay. And I said, this will go Ooh. home with me. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you take a, an Uber or you took a train? How was your experience when you were carrying it home? I came, I walked with this, mm -hmm. the mortar and the pistol. From, I mean, from Croydon? I know from you Croydon, you... I jumped into tram mm -hmm. and everybody was looking at me. What is this? <laughs> yes, everybody was really looking at me. That did not I, tell I, me I, at I, all. And I hope most Ghanians will be like, what is this uh, This man holding? What is he going to do with this thing? You know, certain things that uh, will bother other people uh -huh. does not bother me. Okay, yeah, so that's So I right. just got the thing mm -hmm. because I knew that was something I really wanted. Yeah. And I could not just pound a uh, Taking fufu, the, the, the one that they, they, they drive. <laughs> so that one was which one I got, and then I got the mortar and the pistol, and then I brought it home. And this is what I have at the moment. Wow. So you said you're quickly giving us two soups. So you're going to which soup are you going to give us? Uh, we're going to do a light soup that is a sorted light soup. So we're going to have a fish and the meat combined together. So these are our ingredients. Okay. So these are the ingredients that we have here. Yeah, okay. So Eugene, I know that my viewers will be asking, is it for real that we have, do have mortar and pistol here? It is for real. So I'd like to see it. I like... have mortar <laughs> and pistol in the United Kingdom. <laughs> London. So uh, precisely, London, precisely Wimbledon <laughs> and then uh, Feltham as well. Okay. Because us at the moment, we are in Feltham. Feltham so yeah. um, I want to introduce my Mortar okay, and pistol. pistol. Okay. For you to know, this is my pistol. Mm -hmm. And this it's is my, my mortar. mortar. <laughs> this is the mortar. We are not so joking. we are going to pound fufu and not the one that they drive, but we are going to pound fufu in this. The, tra the, traditional, this is the, the way. traditional way of pounding fufu, fufu yeah. in Africa or in Ghana. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So we have introduced our uh, our uh, what do you call it ingredients to our viewers. So what next? We are going to mix them together, right? Yes. Um, we're going to start preparation. The, the preparation will start, and uh, we're going to make sure we steam the pork we have because we have pork here, we have uh, meat here, we have fish here, we have another fish here, and then we have our pepper, we have our onion, we have our tomato, and then tomato puree we have our ginger we have our garlic and then we have our original okra, okra. okra from ghana and you told me that you're going to you're not going to put the pork into the whole a because we might have our other family other family, family members, members or people that are coming or that wouldn't want to have so it's a pork. Separate, so at least we'll do it separately, separately for them okay. yes well let's get ready for action So now it's the time for the pounding of the fufu and most of my friends who promised to help us with the pounding of the fufu are nowhere to be found. So my friend Eugene had to start this all alone by himself. Sorry, Chef Eugene. So Eugene is lucky my friend George came to help with the pounding of the fufu and that's Alex at the background cooking some dumplings. Uh, it's a fufu party but a little bit of Caribbean feel is going to be fantastic. And later my friend Fifi also, namesake, came also to help with the pounding of the fufu. So guys, apart from content creating, I'm also an event organizer. My company is Team Event Company UK.
and uh it's kind of windy today but i'm trying my best but i'm hoping the weather is going to calm down so that my guests can have a good celebration today so let's see what happens so the weather got worse a couple of hours ago and it's 30 minutes now for the event to start but i mean there's all that i can do there's not my best deco but the weather did not help me to come out with what i intended to do so i hope my guests are going to enjoy it yeah yeah so this is what i have for you guys <laughs> Now my guests have arrived and it's time to party as well as have some good delicious pounded fufu. Smile while you're eating. Smile while you're eating. Yeah. 